Hey, welcome to our channel. I'm Martina, MS Office Trainer, and today I'm going to show you how to remove this recent colors line from your palette in PowerPoint. When you create a template in PowerPoint, sometimes while trying to find correct color palette, you're displaying with some colors to get the best results. But then you're left with a lot of recent colors in the drop-down list here. So today I'm going to show you how to remove them in XML to get a really nice and clean template. I will close it for now. We're going to modify the code in XML. If you're not familiar with that topic, please watch our other video, Intro to XML. Let's right-click on the file and select 7-zip and open archive. Here we have all elements that we have in a zipped file. Then double-click on the PPT folder Select Press Props File and click Extract. Click OK and close the window. As you can see, we have now the XML file here in the folder where was our PPT file. Right-click on it and select Open with Code. Great! Let's right-click and select Format Document or press Alt, Shift and F to have a better preview. Now we want to find this part of the code and as you can see here, we have three colors in the recent colors palette. All we have to do is delete this part and press delete. And now we're going to close the tag. So delete the second tag and type at the end in the bracket slash. Save Control S and close the Visual Studio code. Now right click on the file, select 7-zip and open archive. Then double click on the PPT folder and click and drag our new file into the zip window folder. Yes, and it's done. Okay, let's check it out if it worked. Let's close this window and now we double click on PowerPoint. I will select any object so then I can open this drop down list. And great, the recent color line disappeared. Uh, but don't worry, it's still in the code. So if you would start modifying some colors, you will create a new recent colors. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe.